So we're back out doing some star photography. I've not done this in the vlog for a while. Um, it's kind of hard to film, but we'll give it a try, see how we get on. This time we're going to try and shoot Hode. Can you see it? You can faintly see it behind me. Nope. We'll see it in a minute anyway. Um, I'm not too sure where to shoot it from yet, so I'm going to walk up here. There's like a nice gate up here and get like a clear view. Oh, where is that nice? Oh, we're going to go up Tristry Lane and do like a circle around, but we'll see where we end up. This is a view from the gate. Um, I don't think I like this as much as I remembered it. So we'll go up Tristry Lane instead. This is my spot. There's like a little gap, not a gap, like a little dip in the wall. You can get like a clear view of Hose, a little bit of town, and you can look out towards um, Blackpool. It's pretty starry, so it should be a good night for it. Just get set up and then go through all the camera settings. I think this is the first time I've photographed Hold since they put the new lights in. Um, I was there when they did that thing where they changed all the colours on the opening night. Or well, maybe it wasn't an opening night. It's like a testing out night. And it changes colours. Um, I'll put them pictures onto the screen now actually. Um, that's not really my scene though, to be honest. Looks a bit tacky. I think I preferred the old lights because it was like two spotlights on each side. Well, it had a few around the edges, but from the front you got one on each side. But now it's just like a flat light. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. Can you see me there? Yeah, I think that's right. But now I've done a proper video on my night photography before where I go over the equipment and settings and everything but I'll link that down below but I'll go over everything that we're using now quickly so I've got this on a 10 second shutter at f2.8 with the ISO at 1000 and I've got it on 2 second timer and I've got it focused to infinity can you see that there? So, so we'll take that one now. Um, I'm gonna leave the camera running while it's taken, but I'm gonna have to turn the light off because that'll mess up the picture. Because last time I did it, I took the picture, put the picture on the screen, and someone still said it wasn't what came out the camera, even though it quite obviously was. So, yeah, this is what happens. So turning the light off and then pressing the shutter. And then now we just have to wait. It's not too bad on the 10 second. So we'll pull that up there. I wish I could show this on the video, because um, there's all these stars, that's a bit bright. The sky is full, and then as you look around, you've got Hoard there, and then you can see Blackpool at the back here. But that's a good start, I think I'm just going to do one with a slightly faster shutter speed just to get um, hold properly exposed. That's one of the problems with coming out earlier is because that's so bright compared to the night sky. Um, it's a bit awkward to photograph, but I think I'm gonna take back what I said before. From a distance, that is better to photograph because before it was like light on one side, then there's like a dark spot, then there's a light. So yeah, 
I don't like everything about it, but there's some good things too. But I think I'll put that picture onto the screen now, actually. Um, I think I'm going to get a portrait version of just hold. Maybe we've hold on like the bottom, bottom left corner. Um, and get it surrounded by stars, because I think that'll look quite nice. And then, um, probably head up to Hold and have a look at it. Maybe get a shot over town. But this is the shot I came out for. So, I'm happy now. I think we're done here. I think I preferred the landscape shot to the portrait, but we'll see what it looks like when we get home. Um, it's cold when he stood around though. There's um, minus one back at the car. It's probably a bit colder out here. You see my breath? No, nope. <laughs> I just look like an idiot. Um, that's not the right lens cap. But I think now we'll make our way up to the top and look down onto Wolverston. I can definitely hear something. We'll be back in a minute. There's just some sheep. We're about halfway up now, and you get a good view down to Ulverston, down there. And then Hoods up there, behind me. I don't know why I did that. But I think, I can't decide whether to go up to the top of the Hood, or up onto this hill that's behind me. You can't see that at all. There's a hill there. And try and get a shot with Hold, Town and the Stars. I think I like the idea of that more. I think this was the right decision. Gets a good view. So we've got, uh, got Hold here and town's down here. I'm going to go for a landscape shot on this one. Um, I'm not going to bother going through the settings on this one because it's going to be similar to what was down there. So I think I'm going to get this shot and then the hill goes up a little bit more and you get a view towards um, the Lake District and Coniston Man's covered in snow at the moment so if I can work out which way to point the camera, it should be directly in front of me now. That's where it usually is anyway. So I'm going to try and get that. And then I'm going to go up to, but I think I'll put all the pictures that I got into my blog. I'll put a couple at the end of this video as well. See what else we find. But this video is probably getting quite long now. So I think I'm going to end it there. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm not sure how many of these night photography videos I'll be doing. If you like them, please comment below. But it's hard to show things that aren't my face, like the actual landscape, because it's just pitch black. But if you like them, I'll keep doing them. Um, but yeah. Please go to my blog if you want to see the pictures, and I'll see you next time. Just one last thing before I put the camera away, actually. Um, I framed up the shot of Coniston Man that I was talking about. Got on the back here. Um, it's not quite what I had in mind, because it's quite far away, but that's what it looks like. You can see all the snow on the mountains and it's surrounded by stars. It's not quite what I had in mind, but I'm glad it worked.
on to the next thing now. I ended the video today. I've stayed out probably an hour longer than I expected to. Now up at Hode, the light's just gone out. So, where's my camera? I've got my camera set up down here. So we'll take that one now. I was here before, like before the lights went out. So I'm gonna do like a side by side comparison with the old one and the new one. See what you prefer. I think they've both got different strong points. Like uh, it's a softer light on the new lights, but it doesn't light up the top as well. But let's have a look at this one. Followed surrounded by stars this time. There's loads of stars. <laughs> right, this is definitely the end this time. I'm going in.